Hello there, YouTubers. Um, getting ready to do something that I've been, I've been procrastinating on for a long time. Clean up. No, not clean up. I just doing clean up. Um, but first of all, I want to thank you all for helping support the channel. I know you hear this from everybody, but it, it really helped me a lot because I'm kind of low man on the tel tel totem pole. But anyhow, I made it to 8,000, which was kind of a goal I had by the end of October. And uh, it looks like it was this morning it was 8,001, 8.1. I don't know how they count that. But uh, anyhow, I spent yesterday, I'm going to go over kind of what I'm doing here. And it's, I've been putting off this for years. I knew I had to do it sooner or later, but I hate wire brushing. And I got, I've, I've done weeks and weeks of wire brushing on this thing. All that steel down there got wire brushed. So I'm going to show you what I got to do now. Um, where I'm at, I, I took the dogs down woo -woo, and uh, hot water pressure washed them. My hot water pressure washer was down at Jeffrey's and cleaned all. I mean, these things were just full of mung, just full of stuff. There's uh, one of these missing. I'll have to order that. A couple little, couple little parts. Um, one of them's broken, and. Um, so I got to order those, but I'm not in any hurry. I, I think I can run with that many dogs. Here's the uh, old parts dogs. This one here is broken. This one here is broken, so I can't use those. This is a wore out spring. Here's one that I hit and blusted in half a long time ago. So that, that kind of stuff happens. A uh, couple arms, but you can kind of see the crud. The springs wouldn't even work down in there. They, they were so crudded up, and it hardly even fit in there. Um, it just you can see it that and the splitter stuff this is the splitter stuff for the back and the rollers but now that I got them back I'm hoping that you can focus on it. somebody hatcheted these things pretty bad this one hasn't been this one here has been wailed on quite a bit I don't know whether that splitter back there has or not I'll have to look at it closer when I wire brush it I'll find out this one here was a refab somebody did so I'm not going to use that one I haven't cleaned any of these up yet uh, those are the pins that go through these are not proper it's supposed to have well I don't know what I do with them already that's how quick I can oh here they are they're on the that that's where these go on here and then you can see where somebody made these and they're not not right so I still have a couple more areas of parts to pick from and this one here I'm gonna to have to countersink these a little bit further this is supposed to be smooth all the way up so when the board comes along and hits it if it's low it'll push up over that some of them are high ones you can see some of them are high and some of them are low I'm not sure what's what yet I haven't figured that out which I looked in the book and none of the parts um, numbers coincide because all everything has part number on it so that's a 1175 C this is a 1174 C this looks like another 75 C then then these are tall and short too these hold the other ends of the rollers down at that end down there this is the this is the saw side these are the um, frick dog housings now I've got an abundance of uh, oh and these these here hold the splitter in the back the splitter gets mounted on this number one I think is the only one that does that so I'm gonna wire this stuff's all gonna get wire brushed I have the wire brush um, then I have a you can see how it's a little rusty in here well I've got this wire this wire wheel here should go in there and clean that out pretty good I got an extra wire wheel here I got a little sander to knock off little sometimes there's little casting burrs that just don't make it look pretty I, I I know that I could knock these off too but they just look terrible now that I'm now that it's cleaned up and not all greasy bought a new wire wheel for the for the grinder that was ninety two dollars that was expensive but it's one inch wide and it's it's got a two inch hole in it it's a pretty pretty special thing then after I wire brush oh there's still a ton of parts over here I got a wire brush I got my fan for blowing stuff off but it's a little breezy he got all these millions of things some of them some of them came out they look brand new and others look not brand new um, and same with these some of these turned out real good but I'm gonna wire brush all this stuff off and clean it up these are the um, uh, little 
pieces that go into here, and that's the spring that goes in there. We had to straighten all those out down at Jeff's on the press. Missing one spring here. A couple of them are a little weak. There's some long handles, and there's some short handles. I'm thinking maybe number one dog might be a log handle, because that's kind of a real important one. And then maybe the last ones at the other end will be real, real important. So that's uh, what that is. Then I'll... Uh, oh, I got all these. And maybe I already showed you all that. I already showed you all that. Then what I'll do is is put a rack up here and paint some of the stuff up there and uh, that kind of stuff. Now I do have my my safety gear. I'll, I'll wear this and wear that, and I don't know about a mask or whatever. It'll just it'll just go as. And you and you know, guys, you always got to have your safety goggles. You always got to have your safety goggles. You see these guys here; they have their safety goggles on because they're smart. So um, you always got to have your safety protection on. I don't know whether they'll be wearing gloves or not, though. Anyhow, that's just kind of why I haven't done any sawmilling videos. I've been doing this. I imagine this wire brushing this stuff and getting it painted up and getting it on is probably going to take me a week. You know, because uh, I got this to do. And I got grass to mow, and I got just a million things going on. It's not just one thing, even though I like it to be just, well, I don't know if I would like it to be anything. But I've been putting this off, and as one smart man said, sooner or later, you're going to have to take that diaper, that stinky diaper off. Well, the stinky diaper's going to get started coming off today. I'm going to try to start with the uh, red stuff, take it out, put it on my big white truck on the back body, and paint it on there because a little overspray on that uh, wood on that flatbed won't hurt it at all and then uh, like I said some of the stuff will be hanging from rods here I got uh, an array of hangers here someplace to make uh, anybody who does a lot of painting I got a lot but I don't have enough these I think I'll just put on a board and paint them then turn them you know quarter turn and paint them and kind of that way I'm not really not concerned because your hands are gonna get on them they're gonna get wore off pretty quick but I'm going to uh, wire brush all this stuff off and I think maybe I'll do these first just for the heck of it so don't don't really know red stuff first or, or uh, the other stuff first so I got my helpers here they don't help much but they're, they're more on support because I'm a moron and I need support <laughs> anyhow that's it for today if you like uh, these midi these videos do me a favor hit the like button and subscribe it helps me out and Aiming for 9,000, aiming for 10,000, aiming for a million. You know, why stop at uh, 8,000? Anyhow, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this kind of nonsense. It's coming along slowly. I hope to have some kind of law go through there by the end of the month. That's kind of my goal on that. So I hit the 8,000 goal, so now i got to hit the log on the sawmill goal. So thanks a lot for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.